it's one made of copper so this is copper rod and the other made up of steel so steel rod same length the length is l here also the length is l area of cross section is also same are joined together the thermal conductivity of copper is 385 so this is uh, k1 and this is for steel it is k2 free ends of copper are, and steel are held at so this is at 100 degrees centigrade this is at 0 degrees centigrade so let this be at t degrees centigrade the temperature of the junction is nearly so now how the heat would be flowing the heat flows like this so therefore the rate of heat flow has to be same for both of them so now what is the rate of the heat flow so this is dq by dt is equal to k into a into delta t divided by delta l okay so this is the thermal conductivity this is the area of cross section this is the temperature difference delta refers to the length and this is the rate of the heat flow so for both it's going to be the same so therefore we have for copper 385 into the area of cross section which is a into delta t which is 100 minus t divided by the length which is l this should be equal to 50 into a into t minus 0 by l gone 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 so this is uh, uh, from 25 No, 385 okay so from 5 it becomes 10 from 5 this goes as 5 sevens or 5 sevens are 35 and this is 77 so therefore we have 7700 minus 77 t is equal to 10 t so therefore t becomes 7700 divided by 87 so let us do this so 87 divided by 7700 so this is uh, 8 times so 8 7 56 5 64 plus 5 is 69 Okay, so this is 74, 740. This again goes with 8, which is again 696 divided by, so this is 44.5. So this is 88.5 degree centigrade. So therefore, the answer is going to be D. So I'll just repeat the process. The heat flow, the rate of the heat flow is given by this equation. And now since um, at steady current, at steady current of heat flow, the rate of heat flow through copper will be equal to the rate of the heat flow through the steel. Rate of heat flow through the copper is this, which is thermal conductivity into the area of cross section into the difference in temperature divided by the length this should be equal to that of the rate of heat flow through the steel which is k a delta t by l so now doing everything the temperature becomes 88.5 degree centigrade thank you